What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another shave. Tonight's shaving soap is a new soap to the den and this is Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations 1. The soap is a dupe of a men's uh, cologne called Dolce Gabbana's The One. And here is a list of the scent notes for that uh, men's cologne. So here's the puck. The soap is pretty firm and the scent I would describe as a warm and spicy scent and off the puck it's a light to medium uh, scent strength. Brush of choice tonight is a new brush to the den and this is the Simpsons Trafalgar T3, T3 synthetic brush. Very very dense uh, knot here and a lot of a lot of backbone. Really really looking forward to using this brush. The razor tonight is a Franken razor from West Coast Shaving. The handle is from their uh, vintage collection, and there's a whole bunch of different handle options. This is the one that I chose. Um, it's a brass handle, and the head here was designed by Charcoal Goods for uh, West Coast Shaving, and it's a very uh, inexpensive head, too. It's around $12 to $8. I believe right now it's on sale on their website for $8, but it was uh, designed for you know, guys that are new to wet shaving so that you can ride the cap and find your angle really, really easily. Um, it's uh, advertised as a mild to mid-aggression uh, razor, so we'll see how that uh, goes tonight as I uh, use it. So, we're going to get some water on the top of the puck here. I didn't have a shower, so we're just going to paint some water into the whiskers. I've got about Four days worth of growth that I got to mow down here and I'm really looking forward to this shave tonight because I've heard a lot about this uh, artisan from my buddy DK over at DK Damn Fine Shaves. I'm gonna link his uh, YouTube channel in the description below. He really really likes uh, likes these soaps and honestly I didn't even know about this artisan until I uh, until until I uh, watched uh, some of his videos and found out about her. And then when I looked at her offerings and saw that she had a dupe of Dolce Gabbana's The One, I had to get it. So, the lather itself on her website she describes as like a low density lather. There's a lot of ingredients in this uh, soap. It's uh, The base is a tallow base made with sheep's milk. Um, I'm gonna leave the ingredients because there's a lot of ingredients in this uh, in the shave soap itself I'm gonna leave them in the description so if you want to see what's uh, actually in the soap check out the description of this video and I'll leave a complete ingredients list all right so there's my brush all flopped and loaded we'll go ahead and get lathered up and as I uh, Paint the lather onto my face here. The scent strength does increase slightly to a mid-range. And it is definitely a warm, spicy type scent. But I'm really, really enjoying it. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is having a nice week so far. It is Wednesday night as I'm filming this. I'm not sure when I'm going to um, be able to post this. I'm going to try to shoot for Friday to get this up. I got a really, really busy week ahead of me at work and at home. Let's put a little more water in this. Yeah, four days of growth. So I want to make sure I'm going to scrub real good. Get under all those whiskers. And you can, I can tell that this soap is really, really thirsty. And it is a bit, little bit of a lower density lather. And I like the way that it feels on the skin. It has a nice feel to it. A lot of really, really nice ingredients in this soap, so the post shave is probably going to be very, very nice. 
so I'll probably be able to get away with just an aftershave splash. And the sheen on this is really, really nice. I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera, but it's got really, really nice sheen to it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. The soap even tastes good. <laughs> All right. Really, really slick. Holy moly, it's slick. All right, going to go pass number one with a fresh Persona Platinum Blade in there. Yeah, this razor here is very, very mild. Probably be an excellent razor for a beginner. Super easy to find an angle and maintain that angle. I don't get a whole lot of blade feel at all. All right, good, good first pass. Me uh, rinse up here. The uh, the residual slickness on the soap is really, really, really good. I could probably uh, just do a couple of cleanup passes here with the slickness and just call it a day. But why do that? We're just going to go ahead and do another pass here and possibly another pass if I need it. I'm definitely going to need it on the mustache area up here. Have any of you guys ever tried uh, Lisa's soap? Let me know in the comments below. She was nice enough also to send me some uh, samples of her post-shave elixirs. I don't believe she makes any um, splashes. Just going to paint a little more water into this. I'm really digging the scent. Really, really nice scent. Yeah, let me know in the comments below if you guys have uh, tried the soap out. Here are the two elixirs that she sent me. She sent uh, her fougere and she sent the vetiver. And I'm really, really liking the fougere. I think that's gonna be the next soap that I order. And here we go for the against the grain and cross grain pass. This is the first time I've used this razor. I've had it in my den for about a year. The handle I picked up when I ordered uh, a bunch of soaps from West Coast Shaving and they included the handle for free. Well, I guess it really wasn't for free, but I think it was like if you spent over a certain amount, you could pick out one of the handles. And I picked this handle out because I just like the look of it. Really, really comfortable handle to use. And the head actually won in a raffle at the East Coast Wet Shavers virtual meetup back in 20, back in 2020. And yeah, it's a very, very, very mild head. A little too mild for me. Um, I like, I prefer razors that are a little more aggressive. But if you're somebody who has sensitive skin or you need a razor that's just a daily driver, I would uh, recommend this, I would recommend this razor head. 
This soap is really, really nice. And when DK was doing his video, he was saying that he doesn't see the soap uh, used in a lot of Shave of the Days. And I haven't either. But man, this is a really nice, really, really nice soap. Very nice base. Awesome slickness. Great cushion. This soap would be an awesome soap if you're a straight razor shaver and you like a thinner lather, but a slick lather. Be great for straight razor shaving. All right, we're gonna do a kind of an all over the place pass here just to clean up. A little bit of buffing. We're gonna chase BBS tonight. I usually don't chase BBS because I get irritation, but because of the because of the soap and its slickness, I'm gonna chase it. All right, let me rinse up real quick. Miss one more spot. And I think that's gonna do it. Very, very, very nice shave tonight. All right. I'm gonna match, uh, match the soap with this aftershave splash here. This is Perfumology Clutch. This is one of my favorite aftershave splashes of all time. I don't know if there's any available right now at Perfumology. Uh, the person who, uh, the person who sells this has a clone has the matching cologne for it, and it's one of my favorite colognes as well. I'll link up Perfumology in the description below, but this aftershave splash is super strong and is definitely cologne strong. It'll last on you for a couple of hours. All right. And that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys all have a wonderful week. Take care, and I'll see you again soon for another shave.